man. What's up? Not much. What's new with you? Oh, you know the usual. See you around.
The man of the hour. Come on, Western Crusher. The launch waits. Oh, bitch, please. I'm clearly Cisco. Jake Cisco. Captain Cisco. We are minutes away from having Bloom at our mercy. Well, we're gonna cook the shit out of there, Goose. T minus 20, 19, 18, 17, 95, Cordy, Google Plex. You know, just imagining that big data load is enough to get me to half mast and touching cloth at the same freaking time. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Holy. Look at that. Hell of a view up here. Time to blow the living shit out of Bloom. Bloom's network covers even more globe than we thought. Even a web this complex has to have a way in. Somewhere. I'm picking up some points of entry. A few of these data hubs have their share of vulnerabilities. Love it. Let's go. The Bloom offices are in Yongsun. Let's make some music. Problem. SML gateway with adaptive security. No way through it. I could spend months and still get nowhere with this. No. There is always a way. Hey, what happens to data centers during a power outage? Their UPS kicks in. What else? What if that goes too? The firewall would drop. We'd be one step closer to Delaware. Wrench, that's brilliant! You should do that! Funny you should say that, Satara. What? What? This is Sochi
좋아. 좋아. 압력해 전기는 작동시켰나? 그게 어디... 누가 줘? 만원좀 끄라고! 서지가 계속 상승합니다. 이더먹을 김영희가 날라갈 판이군. 조바 전압을 방역시켜. We're fucked. 
Oh, shit. Look at the size of that. Guys, we still got this, right? Man, they really have this locked down. You know, it's a little stressful doing this with all of you watching. Marcus. Marcus. Seriously? You're gonna do this now? Marcus! 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 Shouldn't you guys go fuck yourselves or something? Guys, a little memento of my visit. Marcus, what are you up to? Now, uh, it's a surprise. What? What? Hey, not yet. Did it work? Wait for it. <laughs> you see what I did there? Oh, mad skulls, bro. Guys, guys, look. Oh. It'll take forever to go through all this. Uh, focus on why the satellites are in play. R Ray. Yeah, already got eyes on it. Holy love and fuck. It's a backbone. A satellite backbone? 
What about the latency? There's no way they can match the speed of fiber optics. If I'm reading this right, they are. Bloom did it. They're, they're bypassing the undersea cables with satellites. That's a quantum leap in tech. I mean, if this works, it'll take hackers years to catch up or... Yeah, not for us. We're already in. Hey, who's on Bloom's client list? We got Noodle. We got Invite. We got Titus. We got Galloway. We got the, the government. The New York Stock Exchange. Wait, so all these companies just agreed to up and funnel all their data through Bloom? Does anyone else find that suspicious? Now, all that data at Bloom's fingertips, that's like the world's most powerful monopoly. Can we nuke the backbone? No, no, even if we could, we still need answers. Hey, everybody listen up. Our work is far from over, but with this score, at least we're on the playing field. So pick a target, invite, Titus, Dibs. whatever, and start digging. Look for shit they're not supposed to be doing, right? Dushan wants to paint us as an enemy? Let's show him what going to war with us really means. Yeah. 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 Hey, what's up? You know what's up. I saw those wheels spinning. Look, I don't want you using Marcus as your personal weapon against Bloom. Where the fuck is this coming from? I know about Raymond Kenny and his great collateral damage. We're using each other here. That was always the deal, Sitara. Marcus is a big boy. He knows how to look after himself. Mm-hmm. Sure. In a free and just society, every person is treated with dignity. In a free and just society, leaders are accountable to those they govern. And in a free and just society, individuals can rise as far as their talents and hard work will take them. Do you believe your society is just? just. Do you believe you are free? free? Perhaps you trust in the power of democracy, democracy. that your vote counts. Companies now buy politicians and manipulate elections. Do you believe in the power of the free market? The stock exchange is a puppet show for the rich. Your wealth is controlled by people you've never met. Do you believe the government protects you? National defense now aims to protect the government from you. Don't take our word for it. Join us as we launch our biggest operation yet, and see for yourselves. The foundations of U.S. policy have failed us all. Democracy, the free market, national security. DedSec will give you the truth. Do what you will. print something on the 3D printer, but the others don't think it's gonna work. Uh, what is it? A dildo or a cat? I, uh, haven't made up my mind yet. <laughs> Between a dildo or a cat? People keep talking about printing guns, except they all make them look like guns. Why can't it be a dildo or a cat or a unicorn? And then, BAM! Its true purpose is revealed. Uh, sounds like you need to spend some time prototyping your unicorn dildo gun. You know, before worrying about the aesthetics. That resin is not cheap, man. It's a fair point. Marcus, Josh is swimming through the deep end of the Galilei data, and he's got something he wants to show you. Cool. What's the scale of the thing? Come back home when you can. This might be big. Apparently, our home CEO tested his new software on his own family. You're joking. His wife filed for divorce this morning, citing illegal surveillance of a minor. Whoa, so he's looking at jail time? It's all conjecture right now, but it seems possible. Turns out, secretly spying on people tends to make them a little angry. Mm, who would have guessed? If we had stayed here, pissed off, depressed, hell, lost, this group would be gone. You're the new guy, 
And you managed to keep our collective shit together. Hey, we're a team, right? Thanks to you. Okay, I get it. Stop. You don't like praise, do you? You wonderful, wonderful man. You glorious hero, you. Stop! This is scary as fuck. Imagine what happens if Bloom takes CTOS global. Countries without any regulations. Countries where the government will actively use it against their people. It would be catastrophic. A nightmare scenario. And it's probably already in progress. So how do we even begin to stop it? We keep hitting their corporate allies. Expose the risks, the abuse. We're not fighting against Bloom itself. That's a losing battle. We've got to wreck its image and destroy its brand. Hey, you know how many times the average person shits a day? This is a long-winded joke that ends with home data dump, isn't it? Listen to some of these categories. Pre-30s heart attack, undiagnosed diabetic, two weeks pregnant? I'm never buying an internet accessible camera ever again. Good luck with that. I hope you don't like cell phones. Or TVs. Or sex toys. And not my sex toys, too. Why did they have to ruin everything? Marcus. I need your help. Sure, man. What is it? I picked up a rash or something from Swelter Skelter. I've noodled it, and of course Dr. Noodle's telling me it's ovarian cancer or something equally horrifying, but I wanted to get a second opinion on it. <clears throat> I, I think maybe somebody else in the group could help you with that. Come on, Josh would just share it with everybody, and there's no way Sotaro's gonna look under there. Nope. This is a nope situation. Some friend you are. What do you think Dushan's up to? I mean, this guy's working Silicon Valley, no doubt. But he's up against a shitload of smart. <laughs> does he honestly think he's the smartest guy in the room? Hell yeah, he does. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy taking that smug fuck down. <laughs> yeah, me too. We've gotta go back. Where? The Rock, man! This time, you be the prison guards, and I'll be the madman fleeing for his life. <laughs> that sounds way more exciting than what actually happened. You'll have to deal with the park rangers, though. I can't go near him. I break out in hives. Oddly specific allergy you got there. Don't wipe your ass with poison ivy, Marcus. The pain may fade, but it never truly goes away. Marcus, we found a potential diamond in the Galilee dump with Titus's name on it. I'm listening. Wrench and I are working on a plan. Easier if we fill you in when you're back in the garage. I... How's the mask? Kind of itchy. Those FBI motherfuckers must have sprayed it down with some non-hypoallergenic bullshit. Bastards. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll smell like you again after a couple days. Sure felt good to take down the Tescas. It sure did. I mean, Horatio's gone, but we finished it for him. Right? Right. It's gonna have to be good enough. Yeah. Primate cleared out of that bunker pretty quick. Word is that a few of them are looking to join us, but I don't know. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Technically, we could use the help, but can we trust them? Million dollar question. Hmm. After DeadSex pulled the sheet off of Silicon Valley, what do you think happens next? A lot of people lose money. Examples will be made. The worst offenders will be fired or arrested. We'll do some serious damage for sure. But then it all resets, right? A new product comes out, people forget. One CEO takes a hit for the whole company and everybody moves on. How do we make it stick? We just keep sticking it to them. We've got all of DedSec dumpster diving through that Galilee intercept. Anything good? Metric a shit tons of good. <laughs> I've already picked out a serious opportunity for us. Turns out, Congressman Thrust's re-election campaign is getting logistical support from Invite. That's weird. And illegal. Right? Why not just give them money? Well, Invite's got years of collected data. I mean, that shit's worth way more than money. But why back a doofus like Thrust? Dude couldn't tell his ass if someone fucking handed it to him. Well, uh, let's mess him up, break some windows, see what he does. Yeah, create a reaction, might flush him out. Let's announce this. 
Marcus, you think you can uh, bitch slap him for us? Uh, yeah, I got something for him. I'm gonna go fuck up that big ass billboard with his dumb face all over it. <laughs> Send a clear message. And I'm gonna hit up his campaign funding. And I am going to fuck up his social media. And I am going to fuck up his website. And I am gonna fuck up his online ads. I'm gonna go for another beer. Your freedoms can only be protected if democracy thrives. But corporate interests are rigging the elections. Your elections. Your favorite social media giant, Invite, knows everything about you. And they're manipulating your feed to tailor your opinion to their interests. They are fooling you into voting for their puppet, Congressman Mark Thrust. Invite wields the single most powerful population control tool ever created. Defend democracy. Help us tear down info. Lend us your processing power by downloading our app and together we will expose Congressman Thrust. Join us. We are DeadSec. Galilee was on the right track in their car dev. Looks like their plan was to feed the driver data into a machine learning algo. Meanwhile, Noodle's still using rule sets. Guess we shouldn't be surprised when Galilee releases a car into the wild that really works. Only a matter of time, man. Home's databases are filled with all kinds of useful information. I've already identified a list of people who would be likely to join DedSec if offered the opportunity. Can't do it. That's crossing the line. If we're trying to show how DedSec is siding with privacy, we can't get caught using that data for ourselves. We do use stolen data, though. Even the profiler. I hear you, and we do use some necessary evils. But those aren't under a PR microscope. Whether or not it's moral is a whole other conversation. The data already exists. Not using it would be immoral. Drop the tables, Josh. So, Josh, what'd you think about your first swelter-skelter? I think mushrooms have opened up some very promising avenues for me, so I've got a few grow kits on the way. I had a hard time choosing between Mazatepec and White Lightning, but I'll find the strongest effect by process of elimination. These are only two of a dozen solid options, so I'm gonna have a busy year. You need any help testing those? I'm your man. Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> Always happy to help. What's up, Ray? Joshua picked up something strange from the Galilee hack. It's code, but the comments are in Chinese. Aw, uh, tell me the Chinese didn't hack the satellite backbone already? Not the satellite. The submarine cables connecting China and the US. Hmm. That's not even the interesting drop your pants part. Bloom's been monitoring the hack. Joshua says the hackers are stealing data and using it to make a mint on the New York Stock Exchange. The hackers turned inside a trader, so it's not the first time it's happened. Yeah, we'll get this. The program the hackers are using? Drum roll, Josh, please. Pattern recognition software. Sure as shit looks like bellwether to me. And Bloom knows? So why are they sitting on it? Well, that's why we're talking. We have nothing solid to go on, except our Chinese hackers use their access to pre-clear a cargo ship landing in San Francisco. Their shipping containers just arrived at the board. I'll check it out.
You there? I'm looking right at a giant congressman thrust up on the billboard. Do your thing, man. Here goes. He'll know we're after him now. Way to go. I've got a whole team of DedSec members out working on Thrust's other signs. Nice. Meanwhile, I put together a payload to deploy an invite server. Meet me outside invite and I'll fill you in. Sure. See you. Yo, Sitara, what's the container number I'm looking for? LV... Four, two, six. Oh, seriously? You testing my geek food? A bit, yeah. It starts with S-I-B-U-707. <laughs> okay, I see it. But I got other containers in the way. Gonna have to find a way to unblock it. Calm down, calm the fuck down. Oh, fuck. Riddle me this. Who around here is Chinese and deals in human trafficking? Anti-shoe boys for sure. Yeah. Well, it's some high-end human smuggling like I ain't never seen before. His container is nicer than my last apartment. I'm sending you a picture. Got it. Who is he and why does he have a bloody nose? Noodle Translate isn't his friend. And he's not your run-of-the-mill cargo either. Not sure what I can do with it. Let's see if he can match his face online. My guess... He's got an education if they went to all this trouble. Right. I'll start with Chinese schools and get back to you if I find something. Okay. Oh, and by the way, uh, welcome to America.
扑嚟个街，鬼唔望你死咗冇人理啊！你阿妈生嚿叉烧到个生你啊！Marcus, I found your guy. What you got? Graduate of Shanghai Jiao Tong University. He's got a double master's in statistics and business. He's a quant. They definitely need him to number crunch that stock market data, which means the Auntie Shoe Boys are in the business of insider trading. I have a contact in Chinatown who's connected with the Auntie Shoe Boys. I'm sending you his coordinates. Maybe he can help you get answers. of U.S. policy? They just blowing smoke up their ass? Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Get out there!
Compose a previously identified target near your location. Over. for brains. What's going on? Oh. Wait, That's what? Should I for my sake? What? No! 